We're about to spend the next 24 hours, and whatever decisions we make now are going to affect the rest of our lives for the next day. I wouldn't say to live without a gun. Yeah. It's so hard to see. Three, two, one. I'm fed up and freaking hungry. The survival challenge has been way tougher than I thought it was going to be. That's not smart. It smells terrible. Two boys, one island, isolated, one boat, $100, Walmart, courage, passion, love. Today we're going to be surviving with only $100 from Walmart on an isolated island for 24 hours. We have to catch everything we eat besides one food item we get inside the store. And we have $100 to buy everything you would need to survive. So that includes warmth. We need housing. We need to, something to keep us warm. Shelter, that's the word. Okay. We need fire. Ice. Wind, lightning, no, I'm just kidding, just fire. Okay, <laughs> what's up guys, for real? Comment this popping up down below. Today we're doing the $100 Walmart Survival Fishing Challenge. So, we need everything for $100 from Walmart to survive. All we are going to have before this $100 is my boat right here, and all this is gonna do is transport us to the isolated island. But we can't use anything on it. I don't think $100 is even gonna touch anything. We might can get a tent. We'll see. We got a 30 degree night ahead of us and we're gonna have to catch food, build shelter, build a fire, do a ton of things I've never done before, bring it back to the Boy Scout days, and survive the night. So my favorite thing to do as a kid, like not even a joke, was no. go camping on the beach. So we'd like camp and then we'd wake up in the morning. Me and my mom would go walk and like get seashells and shark's teeth when the tide was low and then me and my dad would go fishing and i cast on all this stuff. I love camping but I haven't gone this hardcore camping ever in my life. Like normally we go to a campsite yeah. and we'd already have a tent. We wouldn't only have a hundred dollars and we would normally bring food okay i don't really know how a hundred dollars is gonna go man i norm keeps talking a hundred dollars a hundred dollars but i don't know you've never done no, this we're, before we're sticking to the budget that's why i'm nervous because when i go fishing guys and i do these budget challenges i know what i need and a lot of times i overbuy. but a hundred dollars is going to be stretching us like very thin i feel like you <laughs> know what i mean that's the most underrated statement of the year and our lives are at stake like normally it's like just catching fishes at stake right now like we we could die. Probably. Probably. <laughs> but dying in the title. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to spend the next 24 hours, and whatever decisions we make now are going to affect the rest of our lives for the next day. We're going to determine the survival rate of this challenge. We have a lot of things that we need. We need food, but we can only get one food item each, okay. and it has to be a survival food-oriented food, because food, I want to try like those MRE packs or something like that. Water, shelter, fire. That's it. But we're going to need a ton of those different things to combine it. So let's yeah. start with the most important first, the expensive items, and then try to throw in like yeah, other things agree, that can help us. Dude, I don't even know where to start. What do you even need to survive? I think first thing we got to go with is shelter. I'm pretty sure in survival situation, water is last. We're on a lake. There's going to be so much water there anyways. We don't need to get water. Okay, let's start with the most important things first. And then with our leftover budget, get things like maybe we don't need necessarily, but would definitely help. First, we need like a, we need shelter. I agree. I'm pretty confident that we have the fishing cover or our fishing abilities are good. But as far as making a fire, building shelter, not like hurting ourselves in the right. middle of the night walking around, that's what I'm worried about. So let's start with shelter and things we're less confident in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a good strategy. I think so too. And we gotta keep in mind, the island that we're going to is hours from the nearest hospital. So if anything happens, we gotta take a boat ride, get to a truck, get to a hospital. It's it's not good. Tents. You want a tent? Let's do a tent. 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 Well, I'm glad we went to the Walmart with the most tent selections of our lives. <laughs> There's two tents. So guys, we have a $28 tent, a $70 tent, which would be very nice, but I'll, that wouldn't give us much room for anything else. No, we shouldn't do it. And then we have a $139 tent. But what I want to do is, I mean, just look, look at this dude. He's happy with his children. They have a nice tent. They have food supplies, probably as many fishing rods as they want. Single dad. He, uh, he takes responsibility for himself. He's well, he's nicely dressed, building a campfire. He's in good health, well-trimmed beard. And probably just from the side profile, I can tell he has good like oral hygiene. Yeah, I can tell that too. If you guys want to see a hundred dollar <laughs> versus thousand dollar survival challenge where we like spin a wheel, me and AOC, who gets a hundred hundred dollar budget, who gets a thousand dollar, and see okay. who can like survive the best. Four for that and if we get eight thousand we'll do a thousand versus a ten thousand dollar walmart camping challenge. bro okay did you like fifteen thousand i'm not made of money dog that's why we're doing these hundred dollar challenges right now i'm broke <laughs> just talked to the man he said if we get twenty thousand likes on this video we'll do a thousand versus ten thousand dollar camping challenge i don't think anybody's ever done that before and you're gonna get canceled more than mr beast dude you selfish i hope i get the ten thousand dollar budget if that happens i'd be so mad when i buy twenty one thousand dollars in camping gear and you're just living life over there like eating nice sushi you even like hire assistants to bring you everything all right so all we can afford today for the hundred dollar budget 
is the $28 tent. We could do the 70, bro, but there's so much other stuff we need. We, we need got food, it. We water, got it. fishing stuff. So this is our only option. Unless we want to do sleeping bags is that or a tarp. The only tent here? Bro, there's three tents. What is right. this? Same exact tent. Oh. All that work for nothing. I just expended energy I'm gonna need when we don't catch any fish today. <laughs> and I need calories. calories. <laughs> Item number one, $28.70 tent. This is where Zayd, myself, and Ao will be sleeping tonight because it is a three-person dome tent. I've not set up a tent in like five years, so we'll see how this goes. But we're not even gonna read the instructions because I'm that confident. <laughs> All right, now I'm thinking too, in a tent, it doesn't come with blankets or anything. Are we using each other for warmth? How cold was it supposed to be tonight? 40 degrees. But if you think about it, we're snuggling for warmth. It's budget friendly, so it's yeah. not like weird if we snuggle. Yeah. Because it's like sticking to the challenge. Okay, no blankets. <laughs> Next aisle. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead. Let's do our meals yeah. because we each get one meal and we're just going to add that on because I've never tried any of these like survival meals before and they look so cool. So this is like backup worst case scenario if we don't catch any fish. Lasagna and meat. <laughs> Lasagna and meat. Oh, you, you probably need to boil water for this too. Dude, a life straw. Oh, it's $36 though. I feel like camping is like a very expensive thing to go do it for really whatever is. reason. Yeah. I, I'm really realizing how little $100 actually is going to buy us. Yeah, it's not good. Let's get two meals. Zade, will you try it in the spirit of camping? Will you try it with us if we get them? There's an the ice cream sandwich, so it's gonna break your diet. I'll, I'll do it in the spirit of... Yes! <laughs> adventure. All right, so what? So Zade, help us pick this out too, man. So what What do you want to try? Oh, there's biscuits and gravy? Oh, uh, that's me. Do you have to add water to these? You just eat them straight up the thing. Oh, just, okay, just add water. Dry biscuits and gravy? What'd you get? Chicken fried rice. I actually think this is gonna be the best one. That sounds pretty good, man. Yeah, I guess right. you gotta get beef stroganoff. That's like the most German thing ever, man. I'm gonna is, have to get that one. Is stroganoff German? So we have biscuits and gravy. Zade is gonna try the beef stroganoff. And you got what, chicken fried rice? Chicken fried rice. And then for dessert, we'll have an ice cream sandwich. These are all not included towards our budget just because I've always seen these. And I knew whenever I did this video or like my first ever survival challenge, I had to try them. So I've been saving it for this. We need boiling water for these. We're gonna need a pan. We need a pan to cook the fish on. We need pan. Oh, true. Yeah, so we're gonna need like a pan to put on the fire. It's like they think of it for us, man. It's all like right next to each other. So right next to the food, we have the pans and then we just need to get the cheapest one. Can we cook a fish in this? Yes. Oh, that sounded good. Next item for $4.82, guys, we have a eight inch cast iron skillet. I have also never cooked anything besides cereal and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in my life. And that's not even a joke. Item number two officially is going to be this cast iron skillet. So I'm thinking if we're gonna try to cook fish and we already got a pan, then we're gonna need a knife and probably a way to start a fire. Two dollar knife. Is there anything on this multi-tool that would help us more? No. Oh, dude, but this is like a paracord knife, so we could use the paracord and the knife. I think it's a good value package, 938. But then this also has me thinking, look at this. So for 32 bucks, we then have paracord, an axe, a fire starter, a flashlight. We still need flashlights. These little clamp things <laughs> that could help put the rope on something. What I know, I have no clue yet. For 30 32 bucks. So this is 10 bucks we can put back. Okay, 10 bucks put back at the $32. And that means we won't have to buy a flashlight because we'll have one. All right, so we're getting the value kit. I think this like overall saves you a lot more money. It's just an expensive upfront cost, but you have everything that you could need in here, like tools wise, I guess. 30, 35, 70. 70. Oh, shoot. Well, dude, like look right here. 88 cents Good. for a lighter. Run it. Is there dry wood out there? Highly doubt it. Oh, starting a fire is going to be an issue. We'll worry about that when we get to it. Lighter, 88 cents. We're that's that's good, very dude. budget friendly. I'm already, I'm, I'm feeling it, man. Oh, guys, guys, for real though. Look what I just found. Emergency blankets for only 274. Dude. So we can have blankets tonight. 274, do you think that's a good perk it? Yes. Like, that's the best perkus ever, dog. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say it as soon as I messed it up. That is clutch. Okay, so that'll be for the three of us. Emergency blankets. Is this a good, per this has got to be a good purchase. It says windproof, waterproof, helps remain body heat. So I don't know if it's like an actual. It's not very, I think it's just like to keep you out of the rain or something. Yeah, I like think it wind. might be like a, a cheap place for a tent. We're putting them back. Yep. <laughs> 436 sunsets. It's 406 now. This isn't good, man. We're going to be setting up in the dark. 
Like 100%. Does the flashlight come with batteries? <laughs> They're gonna not put batteries in it, I know it. Imagine somebody actually like goes out trying to survive with this kit and just doesn't come with batteries. Comes with batteries. Comes with batteries, all right, perfect. I think this is probably the most absurd part of this challenge, because I've done $100 fishing combos and reels and have still struggled to have enough stuff to catch fish. Are we gonna have to share a rod and reel? Yeah, $100 is not a lot when it comes to surviving. It's a lot of money, but it's not a lot when it comes to like having to go out on an island for yeah. 24 hours. So how much money do we have left? $30? We still have to buy water. We have no blankets. And we need fishing stuff. I think you need to check yourself, dog. <laughs> that look was awesome. I don't see a way unless you get a Zepco or a kitty rod. We haven't even talked about the lake yet, but the lake is the toughest lake to fish. Literally, if you don't know anything about fishing, Kevin Van Dam is the best fisherman to ever fish any tournament on this planet. Second best. After fishing a tournament on West Point Lake, he was asked how to catch fish. He said move. What's interesting to me is you always hear fans of the Bassmaster say, do these guys ever not have a clue? Well, I can tell you something. <laughs> if you listen backstage behind, really throughout this entire event, a lot of anglers, clueless, even some of the guys that are catching them, still scratching their head. Truly, one of the, the, the hardest bodies of water we've ever seen. Like move as in like, leave lakes. Don't, don't fish this lake. <laughs> it's terrible. Nice. Well, that's where we're going to survive, so that's good. The cheapest combo I'm seeing is 19 bucks, which is going to leave us $10. So this is super cool because we have line on here, and maybe this could even, like, throw, uh, like, lighter beats for yeah. crappie. I think we should go Ned, dude. Some Ned rigs? Yeah, but then we have... We only have four of these, so what happens when we lose them? You think you'll lose all of those? No, nah, we got it. Do, do it. All right. Boom. Ned rig. So we got $7 left. I think we're going to just go ahead and get like water and maybe some butter and maybe some seasoning for the fish just to make the catch and cook more enjoyable. I think we have everything we need until we get out there and we realize we're missing something major, but I think we're pretty much good. I'm excited, man. Like this is, I'm actually, I'm so nervous right now, but I'm so excited at the same time. The unknown is just like driving me crazy right now. All right, let's, uh, grocery section, I guess, right? Yeah. We got everything we need here? Uh, I believe so. Wait, come, come look real quick at this cart. So you guys, this is what we got. A kit, a pan, a tent, 88 cent lighter, and a fishing rod. We're about to go on the worst lake in Alabama. The United States. In the United States right. for 24 hours and try to survive. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, should we get two? Yeah, I don't believe in water. It's not good for you. It's really not. Ah. I'm good. <laughs> we're good. We buttered up. You think we survive in the woods tonight with only this stuff? That's all we're bringing. You That's got all. a gun? Oh, uh, no, we don't. I wouldn't stay in the woods at night without a gun. Yeah. Oh. If you're not strapping, you're not camping. Is it people you gotta worry about or animals? Both. The people that are animals, man. Yeah. <laughs> we got our survival goods. Time to go to the island. We're like 20 minutes away. It's already getting dark outside, so we're basically gonna be setting up everything we need to that we already don't know how to do in the dark all right so before we get out of there man this might be our last moments of happiness before we endure this 24 hours the one thing i'm really feeling? considering right now is we didn't get any sort of toilet paper whatsoever so i knew it, I knew it was going to be something at least we got your merch real life norm is actually very happy very scared very anxious for this survival challenge but let's get out there try to save as much daylight as we can so we can actually set our tent up and read the instructions it's kind of weird doing an actual challenge where your health is on the line most challenges we do is just pride or talking junk but there's a lot to lose when you get out in nature and you're away from everything. My, my, my projection is that I might not be eating for the next 24 hours, so I'm like getting my last calories in before we officially start. Let's do it, man. We're only a couple minutes away, guys. As you can tell, it's getting darker outside, and that's because we live on Earth, and the sun is only up for a certain amount of time, and then it goes away. And uh, our timing today was very, very bad, so everything is going to be set up at nighttime. So I can't, I can't wait next, for this. Next one, not this one, I'm sorry. I like how the camera slides every time I move. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Go back there, yeah, we, we need to we need to turn around real quick. Well, did right, you hit a tree? Back. Yeah, we uh we we down we down. Oh dang! I guess we failed the challenge. <laughs> guess we, we have to go home. <laughs> like like left to for us. Left did to, it fall to, to, to the, the ground? This, or? Um, sign. Yeah, yeah, it went it went like right into the woods. Right over here? Yeah, yeah it's like right oh, I see it. I see oh, it. Oh dang! Nice, it's on fire. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm so I don't even know how to zoom this camera in and out. Wait here, show him real quick. Oh, it's a tr no, it's broken. Oh there my go. gosh. Yeah. You need me to get out and holler at you? No. Do some dad hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Hold the flashlight in this place, Luke. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. 
North South West, son. <laughs> I think every son lived that experience with their dad. I'm doing it to my son if I have one. Maybe it's like an ongoing dad thing. Like every dad just knows. Dang, are your tires big enough, man? Jeez. Yeah. Also, don't leave anything of value in here. Okay. I'm not even kidding. People come out here and rob all the time. Oh my gosh. What? The water is about 10 foot, 12 foot below normal pool. That's what I was thinking. It looks super shallow out here. Yeah, there's there's an extra 20, 30 yards. So maybe the islands that are typically islands are going to be peninsulas now. Where do you want me to put the bag of snack? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> We're loading everything up in the boat right now. We have uh, all of our supplies right here. The lake is looking gorgeous. This is probably the only time you guys are going to be able to see it until morning because it's going to get super dark out. As soon as the boat hits the island, that's when our 24 hours starts. I did pack clothes. That's the only thing I packed. If you look in here, just clothes. I should have brought some clothes too. I might need to borrow some for real. It might yeah, get really yeah, cold. Yeah. I just unpacked my entire bag, but... What's up, guys? Ayo here. Didn't ask to do this challenge at all. No one told me we were going fishing. Now I'm sleeping on an island. My wife has no idea where I am, so this is the last time anybody sees me. If something goes, if something goes horribly wrong, and this is the last time anybody ever sees me, my dying wish is somebody steals the itty bitty and finishes strong for me. That's all I want. All right. All right. What's up? How are you? We're about to go on a uh, on an island for 24 hours and go survive out there. I literally just dumped the boat in, so. That sounds really miserable. Yeah, we have. No, we didn't bring any snacks. We have we have to catch everything we eat. We we have a we have a pan, we have a thirty dollar tent, a thirty dollar like tool kit, and then a lighter. And I think that's all we have. Oh, and three gallons of water. All right, folks. Boats in the water, last moments on land that is not a abandoned island. We're committed. So, so your boat doesn't have no graphs? No, no graphs. You cool if I drive then? Yeah. Water's low, man. It's dangerous when it's low. I just looked out there. We're literally going into that for the night. It's it is a vast. Water. I, d I don't remember the last time I filled this thing up with gas, to be honest with you, so I guess we'll figure out if it starts making a weird noise. Also, not a joke. I didn't I didn't know how far away the island was from the boat ramp, Okay. so I didn't realize it was like 20 minutes away, so um, my bad. I'm trying to pull up a satellite version of the lake because I don't know where we are. <laughs> Dude, it all looks the same out here. We're going to have to point the camera where we need to go because it sees better than our eyes. Bro, I can't see a darn thing. This is so deceiving. So there's two islands on the end of this peninsula, and there's one that was actually a really good sized island, but I feel like because the water's so low, it's just a peninsula, and for the sake of this challenge, we want to be stranded on an island. There's a tiny island right here. It's kind of like island shopping when you think about it. If we don't like this island, we just go find another one. I think this is going to be the, the one. I think it's going to be a lot bigger too because the water's so far down. so hard to see. I can't see. Do you want to put together the flashlight? Oh, should I? Something like that. Oh, dude, I see the island. You see it? Yeah, we're about 50 yards out. Before we set up camp, we could hop out and, you know, eye it down, make sure it's the right island for you. I have a few I can show you. Oh, you got so many islands. Yeah, I, I mean. So guys, I took the flashlight out of our kit. We're trying to find a good island because there's multiple out here. Like, which one would be the coolest to try to survive on? Because this is going to be our home for the next day. Oh, that's like in strobe mode. That's a pretty small island, dude. You want big, huh? I feel like the bigger, the more like opportunity there is. To explore. More, more places that we could like build a fire and do all those things. Like, that's a pretty small, that's literally just like a sand pit with a tree on it. All right, well, there is one island. In the middle of the lake? <laughs> yeah, in the <laughs> middle. There's a big one around yonder. Taking the first glance at the island we're going to be spending the next day on. And dude, it's, it looks super cool, man. It's a pretty sizable island, too, so I think there's going to be a lot to explore and a good place to set up camp out here. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. We're here, baby. Oh, rocks on the boat. 
We're at the island, so one of us is gonna have to jump in the water. Yeah, your channel, dog. Yeah, I guess so. My feet are already <laughs> wet. I'm gonna sacrifice my warmth for the next 24 hours with, this is like simple survival, like things you're not supposed to do. One is get like wet, because it's very hard to keep dry clothes. Should, we, gonna do should it. we scoot around the island to look for a better bank to port the boat? We could, dude, it's so shallow here. It's so rocky and muddy. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know where the bank is either. It looks like grass almost. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is perfect. All right, I'll try it first. Bro, if I jump in this, I feel like I could go knee deep. Oh, not too bad. It wasn't horrible. <laughs> Oh. All right, land hole on the island, guys. We're just bringing all of our supplies up on dry land, probably up here, is where we're gonna keep it for now. This is all like mud and disgusting. This is like a beach, actually, pretty much. It's like a freshwater beach. This is like straight up sand up here. So, I'll start piling everything there. We'll find, I think the first thing we're gonna have to do after we get all the stuff unloaded is probably find like a good place to set up camp. And then whether we start a fire first or shelter, we'll have to figure out. Yeah, yeah, I'll test my one hand grip strength. Golly. Send it to me like freaking Peyton Manning in the. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I can't see anything. No. <laughs> Your water, no. So, number one concern right now is not letting my boat float away. So, I'm going to try to drag it up onto the beach or mud or whatever you want to call this. Oh, dude, I'm ruined for tonight already. <laughs> my only good pair of socks is free and now freezing cold. Zade, you're actually in trouble, dude. <laughs> Three, two, one. That was good. Think we're good? <laughs> I just want to wake up in the morning. That thing's gone, you know? Hey, you and I have made it to the island. We laid out all of our supplies right here, so we're going to go over it before we get started, just so you guys can see everything that we have to use in the video. So we have uh, Zayt's half gallon of water now because he spilled the other half out on his feet cleaning them. We got our uh, our food that we're going to try later. Kit that we've already cracked into for the flashlight I'm holding and everything. Our tent. Me and Ayo's water bottles. And uh, cooking supplies. Butter, seasoning, and a pan. $100 I think very well spent. First things first, let's try to tie my boat up because it's sitting over there on the edge of the island. That way it doesn't float away. And then we'll try to find some safe land. Oh, you know what I was thinking too? I've watched all these survival shows. Like, okay. I love them. And I always, when I'm watching, I'm like, I could do that. You know what I okay. mean? And now we're gonna see, can we do that? Cause I don't know how to do this, but I've seen the shows that like show you how. Yeah. So I know we got to go find like a good place for shelter. So that means like dry land, enough place where you can like build a fire without it catching other things on fire. Yeah. Let me know if you guys think you could do this or not. I know everybody's saying yes, but you gotta, you gotta try it. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go try to find something on the island that's really heavy so we don't have to waste too much paracord. Is this like a tidal lake or is it just dry right now? Like, are we gonna wake up and the tide's gonna be all the way up on this beach that we're standing on? No, no, no. How positive are you? Because we, we yeah, actually... I'm positive. All right, I'm trusting you. <laughs> if, my, if my boat's gone, guys, it's Ayo's fault. Let's go try to find a big item. Oh, dude, the woods are so cool. Dude, we might find some stuff we can use. Is that part of the challenge? Yeah, no, whatever we find on the island, we're allowed to use. Oh, look, a can. It's painted. Kind of looks like a jug. If we find anything to put on a hook, Dude, we can yeah. float this out there, tie it up with paracord, and have like our own like jug fishing. Try oh, to catch some know. food so when we wake up. Here, try this, because it has rope on it and everything too, look. Little homemade catfish noodle. Oh dude, look at this. Oh my, dude, it looks like this literally could be set up for tent. We could definitely use one of these to anchor could, your boat. We could try to get it into the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean, and tie a rope around it. She's in there. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna use this guys to uh, to tie up the boat. We're gonna try not to use all of it though because we could use it later for what, I don't know yet. But uh, this stuff seems to always come in handy, at least in the survival shows I watch. So I'm pretty much an expert, you could say. Oh, uh, you wanna do it? Not gonna yeah. lie to you, dog. All I know, the only knot I know is double clinch. Where's the end to the paracord? It's not super tight, but if it tries to go anywhere. It's better than nothing. Yeah, baby. Right. Step one complete, boat is semi-secure. Secure enough for me not to worry about it as we're sleeping. What if I think we leave all of our stuff here and we just go, we go explore the island, get a lay of the land. It's kind of hard to tell when it's dark outside, like what's where. I really don't know what it at all is in the woods here. So, yeah. and if we could find some wildlife, we've never done hunting on the channel before. I am down to like try to catch some type of animal if, if there's something out here. I'm gonna test the sharpness on our, uh, on our Walmart knife here. You ready? Please do. 
All right, she's sharp. I should probably just take the bags off my feet. If we see a snake, we need to take it out, dude. In any other scenario, I would run away, but in this survival situation, if we see a snake, I'm throwing my machete at it. Dude, this is like such a dense forest. Oh, I think we found it, man. All right, so I think we have found camp. It's like a very like open area, but protected all the way around by trees. So I think it's gonna kind of keep us warm tonight too. I think we could build a safe fire here if we found some rocks on the beach and kind of built it up. Yeah, this is definitely the best spot we have found so far. Sweet, man. I think we need to bring everything back here. What do you think? There's just a lot of briars up there. But we, we got the tools, we can remove yeah. everything, you know? Look, I was literally like, there's rocks that we could use to make a fireplace. I started moving the leaves. There is like old coals here from the old fireplace. So somebody's camped out here before. With that, a shadow of a doubt. That like almost secures that we have fire. Okay, that's already made me so much happier because I'm so cold right now and I was thinking if we could start a fire, but. Dude, I say we set up camp right here, right next to the fire. And we're like, we're in the woods too, so we're kind of protected. This is looking good. The boat is like pretty secure. We found a place to set up camp. So now we're gonna have to test our skills and see if we can actually start a fire but they're just being cool there. I didn't even think to get like cool as like an item because it's in the survival section, but us like having that as a bonus is just so clutch. It is pretty awesome. It'd be dope if we could find a gallon of gasoline. <laughs> so fire pits right now where AO's standing. So I think fire there, tent where I'm standing, okay. and then we're close enough to the beach to go fishing yep. and also in the woods enough to go like look for squirrels and stuff. So I think right here will be where we set up camp. Perfect. What I think we should do first is once we get a fire, we're gonna be able to keep it going. I think that would make the most sense. Like fire first, then we build shelter. Okay. You down with that? I'm down with that. All right, let's find that pre-existing fireplace. Do you think we should do it here? Or, or I'm gonna think? say we take the coals from this previous one because this is, you know, this one's gone to crap. So we do it in this low point so we have the hill guarding the fire and the tent. Yeah. Just clearing ground right now, guys, for our fire pit we're gonna make. I actually kind of want to make like a cool one. I noticed a lot of rocks on the beach so we could kind of like create like a rock barrier around this. And then I want to try starting it with the fire starter before we use the lighter to see if we can maybe start a fire with it. But I think everything out here is a little bit too wet for that to happen, especially even the ground's like soaking wet. Got you something to carry your uh, your rocks with, buddy. That's actually clutch. We, are, we now have a designated poop bucket. I think AO is going to be the first one to use it because he's been talking about pooping for the last two hours. We're still looking for like big rocks. This started as a rock adventure and now it has turned into us making a whole lap around the island just looking for things. But we're kind of getting a lay of the land because honestly, the predator needs to know where its prey is. And if we don't know where our, where our prey is, the pr then we're the prey and the predators are going to hunt us. Maybe for you guys this would be heavy, but I'm definitely... Not about to make AO carry this the whole way. Rock me, dog. <laughs> AO, we got some rocks over here, my boy. That is our pan rock right there. Oh, that's not okay. heavy. I'm fine, man. This is a rock challenge. For those of you saying camping isn't a contact sport, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that actually kind of scared me. <laughs> I knew you were there and it still scared me. <laughs> Look at how many rocks you put in while you're gone. Oh my gosh, I noticed when it didn't fall at all. Last one, buddy. Bro, I'm not even kidding you. This. <laughs> you can do you can, it. Yeah, when we get there, you gotta pick this up just so you know how heavy this is. I feel like this should be an Olympic sport. Oh, we gotta get that one. That one's big. Oh, the amount of calories I've burned doing this isn't even gonna supply me with enough food. Yeah, give that a lift. Oh, baby, yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. I know it is. Pain is gain, buddy. You can do it. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to joke. It's not even a joke. No, it is a joke. Just because you got in a car accident doesn't mean that you don't <laughs> get to contribute. This is dumb, dude. Why do we choose all the rocks on the other side of the island to bring this way? Why don't we set up camp over there? Already? I don't even like our spot anymore. Dude, I can feel my lower back giving out. Look, like, you do this, you fit, dude, you feel tight. You stretch it all? You do any yoga in the morning? Nothing? None of That's that? That's all I do in the morning. You'll see tomorrow morning when we wake up. <laughs> right. I thought you were a big, like, downwards dog guy. Zade likes to upward seal it. What's an upward seal it? Why do you get that face? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that way, when you guys are laughing Yo. at me, yeah. you know. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm behind the camera, guys. Yeah. I literally about pulled my back right there. I felt like the little muscle in my back go, don't go any further. <laughs> so we got a little campfire like chair. Now I'm gonna just start stacking these kind of in a circle. 
like overlapping. We just need a fire that's big enough that it can sustain itself while we go fishing, but small enough to where it doesn't get out of control, but also big enough where we can cook food on it. And I think this could actually be like where we put our pan on top of is like this rock right here. So I'll leave that one to the side. Oh yes! Sitting along, baby. Let's go. Look, I'm almost done with the fire pit. So wait, how do, how do you use old coals? in a survival situation. How's that work? Honestly, I have no clue. I just know they help keep fire once they're lit. So I figure we put coals first, then like a ton of firewood, we and might, then something's gonna stay on fire. We might have to do some sort of like leaf or pine straw. Yeah, to get the flame initially started. What we could do too is take part of the box, because yeah, normally like paper cardboard. towels and like that type of stuff lights really mm -hmm. easy. So, but we could take some cardboard and put it on there as well from our box and use it from our budget. Or do we need to get wood first probably? I can go look for some wood if you want to start like laying the foundation you know what i mean sound good so like the coals and that all right split up oh, we'll meet back here this is where uh, michael myers comes out and takes one of us out so we'll see who it is i'll be back in five make a bunch of strips oh, maybe Dude, this right is here. true survival when you're using the packaging for your survival kit to survive that's some next level stuff i think this should be plenty just to get it going I mean, I was throwing some. So guys, we tried the fire starter because we thought it'd be super cool, but I think uh, it's a combination of us not knowing how to use it. And also the pine straw that we put in there is like super damp. So we're gonna even see if it lights with a lighter. So if we don't get a fire started, it is going to be one cold night. Hey, like it won't even ignite with a lighter. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna start TP in it. TP it up, daddy. Yes, sir. Oh, there comes the flame. Woo! Eyes are burning. <laughs> I think all that wood, all the wood on the island is a lot wetter than we realize. It has been raining a lot, so if we can just create a fire that's hot enough, we can dry out some of it. So guys, I'm pretty sure the fire is good. We even have some bigger logs that are gonna hold fire for a while, so I think we got some time to make the tent now. Oh my gosh, why would you do that? And uh, try to build a tent. I think I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. Time to uh, start building this tent, man. You ready? I can't wait. Tent time. Tent time. Step number whatever complete. Definitely worth carrying a bucket of rocks all the way around the island, the whole entire circumference. I'm kidding. That's like That's good though, and it looks like we're already getting some coals on the bottom of the fire. If we catch anything, we should be able to cook it. All right, so guys, we're gonna step a little bit away from the fire just to keep our tent like a safe distance. Watch out for my fishing rod that I decided was a great place to leave it in the leaves. I think right here is where we're gonna set up camp. Oh, <laughs> oh it came in a box. Dude, we could have used this like for real. That's a pretty good knife, man. All right, let's, let's go. go. Here's what we're gonna be sleeping in. It looks like a little Christmas present. Dude, seven foot is not as big as you realize. Or think. Yeah, cause like that's literally my length of my body in the tent. <laughs> Seven foot. It really is gonna feel tiny because you gotta think too, like a tent comes down at an angle. It's not just like a, it's gonna be like a, what'd you drop? Oh, the steaks, I think. All right, here, keep track of these and do not lose these. You brought steaks? Say, you heard that? Oh, dude, don't drop the tiny steaks. These are for Zay. Why am I making steaks with more than one piece? Of oh, you know what we should do? We should definitely like, yeah. Actually, this might add some, cushion for yeah we need <laughs> like little twigs and stuff we're gonna feel very pokey yeah you're right where's the flashlight i got in my pocket oh that in the back would have felt great oh this. there's more than oh dude there's a lot of them <laughs> oh, no. we might have to do they're everywhere that's okay there we might just have to get down to the dirt man when we have it set up and we're uncomfortable we're gonna be too lazy at that point to move it right so it'll be the right decision we're just gonna clear on my side right there so, just this little stretch. Hey, who's got dibs on middle tonight, though? No, this is pretty cool, dude. It's like reflective, too. This is the most important part of the whole build. These poles right here. Do they come with instructions? Don't need them. Oh, there, would, there would be two of these. You can have one. All right, thank you. I don't know, man. It's actually looking a little bit bigger than I thought. It, it looks big for like a single person tent. It looks small for a three person tent. When you put it up and everything, it always looks bigger in the end. Very wise words, my brother. Where does this go? Is this going that hole? No, that's not where that goes. No, that's right. That's right. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Wait, hold up. I'm gonna go give it a lay test real quick. <laughs> Dude, it's tiny, man. Why did we build the door away from the fire? You know, honestly, for $30, it's kind of dope. It's not, did it come with a tarp? Cause a lot of times there's like covers that you can yeah, put on top of it. We got one. 
<laughs> I can't believe we're gonna sleep in this tonight. Dude, we might have to leave the door permanently open for my legs. You see what I'm saying? Like how the angle, like even though it's seven foot long, it's like, look at my feet, Zay. They're going out of the tent though. This is how you know we're actually seven foot tall is we're in a seven foot tent and our feet are out the tent yeah. and our heads are at the base of the tent. So for everybody thinking that we're like, Six foot something, you're wrong. Make no sense that they lied to us on the dimensions of this tent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we got little pockets up here so we can put um, your Slim Shake using code norm. Yeah. Dude, tent went way easier than I thought it did. So now we can eat. Dude, thank goodness, bro. Yes. And oh, Zade, wait, here, come away, come away. I'll hold the camera. It's actually kind of comfortable. Like, it's not, it's, you know, it's no tempur but, oh, hey, you know, nice. the, the leaves are kind of. Oh my gosh, when you're actually like cuddling with the boys? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's on your side? Yeah, yeah that's, okay, that's fine. It's gonna release not my back that's been uh, there for 15 years though, so it's good. This is so like unexpectedly comfortable. I don't know, it's, it's good, man. I'm, I'm kind of debating, you know, hopping in the boat and going to spend money on a sleeping bag. I can't tell if we should have bought a tarp with sleeping bags or the tent. Yeah. Because the yeah. tent's open Dude, right now. honestly, I think we could have got away with not getting the tools, Thank that multi-tool kit. Because then we could have had sleeping bags. What have we even used the axe for? Nothing. It just looked cool. <gasps> if we find squirrels. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, but we needed a knife to clean the fish. Yeah. Also, you cut the paracord. The flashlight. So, I mean, you use the paracord, yeah. you use the flashlight. Yeah. So no, I feel like we've cut a lot of things, honestly. It's not yeah. going to be that bad. I might honestly just take all my clothes off and lay on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so us three, we're going to be sleeping here tonight like this. If you look out past our feet, the fire is right there with all of our stuff and our water bottles. All right, guys, I'm ready to eat. Are you guys ready to eat? So ready. Yep. I say we eat now. I'll try to catch us food later tonight. Feed me, Dad. And then if I can't catch anything, we'll just wait till morning. But at least we'll have dinner and we're fed up, you know? Sounds good to me. All right, sweet. Dude, I'm, I'm debating, dude. I, I might just, like, pile up a ton of leaves on my side. The leaves do help cushion, yeah. I will say that. They really do, man. So to take you guys around a little tour of our campsite, I actually need to pick up my fishing rod here. I'm gonna leave this on the front of the tent so I don't lose it. With the fire, we are going to start cooking our meals that we have right here. But what we didn't think is you need boiled water for these. So we're gonna have to like basically use this pan, which now has leaves in it, <laughs> yes. and boil water in a cast iron pan on a fire. But I think we'll be able to do it. I've been waiting to eat for the past three hours. We have no way to measure either a cup or whatever. That's way more than a cup, dog. Oh yeah, I forgot my math. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> there goes our water supply. Oh. So we're gonna see if we can boil water on fire, which I probably sound really stupid saying that. I know somebody just hit the dislike button. Oh, it's also so think hot. we're gonna have to grab this back off the handle and it's gonna get burning hot. Ouch, it's so hot. We should've got an oven mitt with our- I burned all the hair off my fingers when I was doing that. I, I was putting a piece of wood in the fire and forgot I was doing it and just felt my hand catch on fire. A lot of times people think you gotta put like whatever you're cooking over the open flame, hot coals are where it's at. Learned that when I was doing that one color and sheet at Boy Scout. So guys, we're gonna make our first meal real quick. You got the chicken fried rice. So yes, how sir. exactly do we do this? You just open it? Do you have a sock on your hand right now? Yeah, dude. I always pack extras. I'm nervous to pour it in there. I feel like I'm gonna burn my hand off. Oh, that's why you have a sock on your hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's All right. I think that's enough. I think so too. So now I seal it and just let it steam in there for five minutes. Dude, that looks so good, man. Yeah, I think I think I got the best one for sure. I can't wait to try biscuits and gravy. How do you how do you <laughs> rehydrate biscuits? What have you opened? You never it, pour water on biscuit. biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's just straight smoke in my eyes. So guys, first step to these is getting some boiling water. And it says to add 12 to 16 fluid ounces. So I think that'll be good. So I'm doing the biscuits and gravy. So you basically just rehydrate food that all the water has been taken out of. But I'm really curious to see how biscuits and gravy goes because I just can't see pouring water on a biscuit ending well. Like I just don't know how that's gonna taste. And I'm actually really excited. One, for Zay to try beef stroking off. And also, you guys can see the ice cream sandwich. And I'm pretty sure you do the same thing with this or do you just eat it? Oh no, it's just ready to eat. Are you kidding? Yeah. No way. Let me see it. Dude, let's try it now while the water's boiling. Okay. Yeah, or while the water's boiling for these other ones. Yeah, I think ready we gotta to try eat. it. All right, there's a bite for everybody. A dry ice cream sandwich. How is this gonna taste, dude? Dude, it even comes wrapped like an ice cream sandwich. Let me give you this chunk right here. Thank you. Just dump it in your hand. Let's get that taste review. Mm. <laughs> it 
kind of tastes like um you ever have those like real like oreo thins or something yeah like healthy people cookies it actually tastes pretty good yeah i kind of like it like it's a weird a very weird texture but it does taste like an ice cream sandwich but dry if that makes any sense it tastes like a chip though it so, really does. I'm trying to think, dude, I've had a candy that tastes like this before. It's like super dry. It's kind of like super light. It feels like- Yeah, it like sounds cardboard. hollow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like better than expected. You know what I mean? It's what do you really think? It's really good. Oh, it literally no. tastes like a biscuit that I've had before. Like, like a pastry or something? I don't think you guys have this in, in the US. I've ate something healthy. exactly like this, but I uh, cannot for the love of me remember what it is. Guys, in a non-survival situation, would you eat this? Like just say you had like one in your- yeah, in your would. pantry. Would. It wouldn't be like my first snack choice, but I would definitely like eat this like just at my house. I thought I was gonna be a hater of a dry ice cream sandwich. No, I was too. It's good, man. Yeah. Dessert first, that was good. Now I can't wait to see how these other meals go. And actually my water should be ready, so it's time to add. Let's see how it goes. Oh my gosh, dude. No. Mine is just like, is this all the biscuits? It looks like croutons. <laughs> but what's cool about these is when you dehydrate food, I think you can keep these for like 10 years or something crazy. Really? Yeah, so like, guess. Guess when this expires. Also, also think there's meat in here too. Well, you just kind of gave me a heads up. I'm gonna guess 2024. No. 2051. This doesn't expire for another 30 years. Oh. So these are why these are like the ultimate survival meals. What it's because the they last forever. So if zombie apocalypse happens, you have these. You got food for 30 years. We'll see if they're any good in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yep. Sock oh, yeah. up. Sock up. I've only worn these three days. Oh, okay, good. Let's grab our pan. Try not to pour this on my fingers. Oh, dude, yours is hot. Oh, shoot. Pour quick with it. Dude, it's our, <laughs> the little crouton pieces of the biscuit. They're already big, getting bigger, look at that. It's like those little grow things you put in the sink that we fished with in the dollar store fishing challenge. All right, so I'm going to stir it with a, a spoon. I just bit your sock. Give her the stir. Oh, okay, I'm seeing all the meat and stuff in here too. So that's what it looks like before, guys. And we're gonna seal this thing up for five minutes and open it and see what it looks like. And now we gotta make Zade's meal. I think we were sleeping on how good these are, man. Yeah, well wait until we taste them, they're just so flavorless. Look at the rotation of the moon, and we'll know right. in five minutes is up. Actually, it's starting to look just like a normal cooked meal. Like, look at that, it's not soupy at all. Bro, that looks so good. It looks just like a moist bowl of fresh hopping freaking chicken rice. Definitely. Can we like do like a little bit of taste testing here? Cause like, I kinda wanna try each one to see which one's best. Yeah, definitely not, man, definitely not. Oh, okay, I didn't wanna do that anyways. Yeah. I don't want to ruin it yet, boys. You're not going to tell us if it was good or not? Nope. Your initial look was that it was not good. <laughs> very polarizing look. Like you were either very excited or very disappointed. Check this out. This is the beef stroganoff. The beef I is mean, like the size of like little gerbil poops. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. But it kind of looks good. March 2051. So Jeez. yeah, same year. You got to beat. How Zoganoff can beef last. last for 30 years? Dang, he's so quick with it. Let's go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm gonna leave it in there for a couple minutes and hope I open it and it looks better. Yeah. Mine does not look as appetizing as yours. Did you stir yours again? Have you double stirred yet? I've not double stirred. I shook. I don't know if I put too much water in or if it's just meant to look like that. I'm just hoping the taste is key. Me and you need to take our first official bites together. All right, so guys, uh, the stroking off has four <laughs> more minutes. Time for A and I to test taste. Are they not MREs? I think they're MREs. Adventure meals. I'm gonna open mine up. I still haven't seen what mine looks like. I wanna see your finished product. Oh, goodness. Oh, baby. I think you put too much water in there. Oh, no. The sausage doesn't look terrible, man. I think you I might just, be shocked. Yeah, maybe I added too much water. I think we'll be good. Yeah, I think you're good. I'm going to give it a taste test. Get a spoonful. Dude, I'm getting a massive spoon, bro. I'm so nervous, man. Ready? Oh, boy. Yep. No, wait, hold up. I need some sausage. There. I just got straight biscuit. It's like I wasn't that hungry, but now I, I can't wait any longer. You All right, ready? ready? Yep. I got some crunch. Dude, like mine is so fire, bro. Here, <laughs> mine is like. Try mine. <laughs> I was like, half the biscuits became biscuits, and the other half just <laughs> stayed croutons. Right, I'm gonna try another bite. Yeah, me too. The flavor is on point. I must say yeah. that. Yeah. The only thing that's weird is it's a little bit soupy because I think I added too much water. That's, and dude, it's a little bit crunchy. I think the, the rice does such a good job of sucking up all the water. I don't know, dude. Mine's perfect, bro. Get a scoop, man. I want a little bit of everything in there. So you got peas, you got carrots. Yeah, double dip that Chicken? spoon in there. Rub it around. Oh, dude, I got a freaking heaping scoop. You better heap That's it That's going to be down. so cool. All right, you ready? Yeah. 
That's it, man. <laughs> Let me try yours. Let's try mine. Just for old time's sake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's a shame, guys. I saw biscuits and gravy. I should have been thinking straight, but biscuits and gravy is like my favorite food of all time. I don't know, dude. If you wake up, it's like six in the morning, it's cold, sun's coming up, mm -hmm. sitting around a hot fire, that could hit. It ain't great. Don't get me wrong. I just had like a really good bite, though. Like yeah. where a lot of flavor was there. It's not bad, man. Yours tastes like it's fresh out of the kitchen. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. That's why I keep taking bites that are massive. Look at that, dude. Now, Zay, do you gotta try your beef stroking off? And then you gotta try mine and AO's oh. too and tell us which one's the best. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Let me like it in there. And look, it actually okay. looks really good. It looks like something you would order. Oh, that does smell so good, dude. It smells so good, man. Give it a taste. Dang, slow mo. It's busting. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, busting, busting. snap. Hold up. Right Let out. me try Get a spoon out. in. Little spoon, dog. Which that one's could the, be best? the best one? That's dude. the best one. Really? I got the hold best up. one? Hold up, Bruh, hold up. This goes me right. real quick. <laughs> Bro, that's like ham hamburger helper on like that's it, on beast yeah. mode. That's it. That is good. I've never had him. You got the best helper, one, dude. That was I'm, I can't believe it. First place, oh. beef stroking off for me. Second place, the mm -hmm. rice. Third place, the one I got, but I'm still gonna eat all of it because I'm super hungry. Oh, you haven't even tried the chicken fried rice? Yes, or, or my uh, mm. That one's really Dang, good, too. that's really good, too, though. Dude, they're, they're yeah. close. Try man. mine, try mine. Give it an open. You're right. Yeah, yours also looks the worst, <laughs> like, by yeah. far. Mine looks it's like so cat soupy, throw up. like... Yeah. It's not terrible, though. It's just not, like... To me, it's not amazing, but what's your opinion? You know, the flavor's there. It's just, like, weird. You're yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, like, good... But also not good. <laughs> but honestly, I get what you mean. Maybe this as a breakfast would be better. I would say overall, they're all edible oh, though, very, which very is what I was worried about. It's like we were gonna try them and we couldn't even eat them because they're so nasty. They're all like better yeah. than expected. But you're two, like they, they go crazy. Yeah. Well, sweet. Let's uh, let's eat. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. We got the fire going. Hopefully it doesn't go out by morning. We keep the sky bridge off or whatever you call that thing so we can see the sun when it comes up. So we're woken up in the morning. And um, yeah, we're just gonna sleep on leaves for the rest of the night until the sun comes up. Did, did one of y'all rip? Yeah. I can tell, dude. Really? I... Can you smell it? I can't smell it yet. Zay, there's no <laughs> tent farting allowed. <laughs> yeah, man, for real, for real. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Are you being serious? I might go just pile up some leaves and sleep in a pile of leaves. Is y'all is your back not bothering you in here? Uh no. Yeah. I didn't flip my car last week though, so that yeah, might be part of the reason. Please don't put leaves in the tent. So that's how we're gonna end that conversation. <laughs> no, oh, no, you did not just oh, do no. that. There's something crawling in the woods to your left. As soon as I sleep, I'm not no longer uncomfortable. Bro, there's leaves. so many leaves in this tent right now. They just need to go is up it? and leave. Dude, there's definitely spiders in here. It's not even a question of if. I'm piling it on top. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Bro, why so many? That's the game plan, dog. I mean, it's leaves time. What are you guys. thinking? Do you think that's enough or no? What are you trying to do with these leaves, dude? Cushion. Why? Like, I still don't understand. You'd have the same question if they were under the tarp. I don't even get what you're asking. Yeah. It's why you have to put a pile of leaves in our tent. That's what I'm asking you. Oh, baby. Dude. Say whatever you want in the comments. I'm not in pain anymore. I, I guess it worked. I guess leaves in the tent's a good oh. move. Never put leaves under your tent, guys. It makes no sense. I'm still in pain, to be honest. We have so many leaves in this tent. <laughs> it's like the whole point is to keep things out. I feel like y'all took my leaves, dog, because this pretty flat. <laughs> Bro, I promise you, I got zero <laughs> leaves. I'm not taking any of your leaves. Good morning, guys. <laughs> How'd you sleep here? You sleep anything relatively to me? I think leaves are not. No. 
I woke up in cold shivers like at least like 15 separate time or separate times. I don't know if I was that high in the waking up because I, I had a couple stretches, but I was covered in bug bites for some reason. <laughs> I was so cold, I just couldn't take it anymore, so I started the fire like probably like an hour ago. Dude, I was so thankful too. I woke up, I was looking for Norm because I was about to get between you and Zay for body heat. I was yeah. so shaken, like just uh, uh, look out. Norm was just cracking logs. I was like, thank you, Lord. There was like one tiny coal left on the fire, like just barely red. So I started throwing leaves on it. Yeah, we're gonna warm up, sit by the fire for a little bit. Zay, how you feeling, buddy? I feel surprisingly decently rested. Yeah, now that I think back, if we would have just done a Harp and sleeping bags. Yeah. Good bad move. Alright guys, now that it is morning, you can kind of see camp, so boat is like over there, and this is where we set up camp right here. Oh, that was probably the worst night of sleep I've ever gotten. I woke up like 15 times shaking. I literally felt like I slept for 15 minutes and the sun was already coming up. I don't even know really what time we ended up getting to bed last night. I just remember laying down a piling leaves in our tent and me just passing out. But I think we probably went to bed at like two or three. I thought I was gonna be up for hours. I was, I actually, I have a confession for you guys. I woke up so cold that I walked all the way to the boat and I was just looking to cheat. Like I was looking for like some form of like warmth. But if I couldn't have got a fire started or like couldn't f like find the lighter or anything, definitely probably would have drove back and bought a blanket. Cause I, th <laughs> I actually thought it was like 3 a.m. and I had like five more hours. And then Ooh. you woke up when the sun started coming up and I was like, oh, like it's already that time. Yeah. Cause it literally felt like I laid down for 15 15 minutes. So here's where we ate yesterday. We kind of have just trashling everywhere. Of course we're gonna pick it up, but like we are just not organized campers whatsoever. I think we need to stay for another night and we all switch jackets so we know what each other felt. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. So guys, the plan is we're gonna stay here and, and warm up by the fire for a little bit as the sun comes up because it's still pretty cold outside. And I think we're gonna try to catch a fish. Is that what we're gonna try to do? Yeah, it's freezing cold though, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna give it our best shot to try a catch and cook. I have no clue how that's gonna go, but I mean, we got Ned Riggs and it's freezing, so we'll make that happen. I'm just gonna sit by this fire for another probably 20, 30 minutes. I don't think in winter days, like the, mor like the morning bite is too much of a thing. It's more of like a late evening bite, but maybe the midday bite will be good. I don't know. All right, so here's our rod and reel combo. Put this in the boat. So guys, we did a lap around the island and as you can tell like our boat is pretty beached the whole thing like maximum casting distance only gets to like six inches so what we're gonna do is take our boat off send it out here because we didn't really restrict ourselves to only being on the island it was only using the items and the boat was part of it so we're kind of using this as an option but we're not allowed to end this video or leave this lake until we cook something on the fire that could be a fish that could be any like live thing that we find and the more i think about it dude because in winter it's dark more than it is light we've been out here for like 16 hours or something because it got dark at like 4 30 yesterday yeah so it's we're, we're honestly like two thirds of the way there <laughs> leave that here all right i'm gonna try to push this off three two one <laughs> all right okay the reball <laughs> Oh, there we go. I mean, this is kind of nice. Like, this is the way to go fishing. You just camp the night before. You're just already here. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to pull up to the boat ramp, nothing. Now, if we catch a fish, that is going to be legendary because you said the greatest fisherman of all time didn't even catch a fish out of here. He has caught fish out here. It's just really hard. Really hard. The good thing is the lake is kind of rebounding. They put, like, a ton of striper and white bass. They yeah. ate all the bait up in here, and now the largies and the spots didn't have a lot of food, so... They've been declining the amount of fish they put in here that aren't bass. I'm rigging up my, what was this, like a $20 rod and reel combo with line and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, I think it was 30. Yeah, okay, so I got the uh, the Ned Rigs that we got as well for like three bucks. And there's a, quite a few heads in there. So that means we can both go fishing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let like one sly like rule slip and let you go fishing too, because I don't want 
you just sit here and watch me fish but whatever we actually catch and cook it has to be on like this rod and reel combo but i'm, I'm not like, just gonna like let you sit here and watch me go fishing so okay. i feel like for 20 dollars this isn't like terrible it's just really not good either but it's not bad i think the fish are gonna be deep yeah. we have no grass so we don't know what the water temp is or the depth that we're fishing in so i'm just trying to fish off memory and the water is like six foot lower than usual, so. Definitely like in the 50s. Yeah. So it's just not warm. You know, everything that's gone wrong in this video, it just made me realize to be grateful for like the simple things we have at our at our houses. I am actually getting hungry. I'm never a breakfast person. Like I never have like a urge to eat in the morning. I normally don't start getting hungry till like two, 3 p.m. Yeah. But I just felt like my stomach cramp. Like it's ready for some food, so let's go catch something. Sender. Oh, it's cold. This looks like a good spot, though. Bridges always just hold warmth, and that's what you're looking for when it's this time of year. Is just some type of structure that's just is warm, and that could be rocks. That could be the the pilings of the bridge. Hopefully, any fish. At this point, it does not matter if it's a bass, a crappie, just anything that we can cook and eat. Protein, baby. Yep protein a little bit of natural fats and natural carbs mm -hmm. get some macros in us all right we ready let's get it ready to get her started let's do it oh i'm getting old all right first cast i think this is the most i've ever wanted to catch a fish there's been many times where i've really wanted a fish for something that we're doing but right now I could just, I'd like, I need it. I need the fuel. Didn't have like obviously a coffee or an energy drink or anything this morning. So I'm feeling like a little groggy, especially from our uh, our sleeping situation that we had. So I, th I think a little bit of food and getting back to that fire would help a lot. So I'm hoping we catch something that we can eat. You're going to shoot cut? 24 frames instead of 60. No. Yes, oh. I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh. I got a fish. Oh. We need this. What is up with your like, drag? Instantly. Are you sure? Bro, my line was moving. I promise you. Was it not? I don't know. Dude, I, th I really thought I had one. I, yeah, thought, I, did. I thought you did too. Dude, I was so, so happy. I was like, dude, there's no way. It, I, it felt big. Yeah. Bro, I, I'm telling you, dude, it's either I'm delirious right now, but I, I swear it was fighting back. Like, I swear I felt like a bite and everything. Like, without even, I was literally looking at my line and it was moving. Oh, dang it. it. It looked like you were on. So I thought it was swimming to the right for like yeah, five seconds. I thought so too. Unless he just popped off and then got me wrapped on a tree. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought we just did it. I was like, oh my gosh guys we chose the worst time to like try to survive and go fishing we could have done this in like the spring or the fall yeah we decided you know what winter yeah, winter time first time we ever came yeah together. <laughs> you know what with winter i think we can use a hundred dollars and get all the fishing supplies that we need to catch winter fish and, and then also housing and fire that was the biggest heartbreak of my life dude i was like no way second cast we just made that happen bro there's just got to be like one one fish that would just eat a net rig on some rocks like this, dude. Come on. That's what I'm, I'm thinking. Well. Oh, that's good to know these are high quality. The hook literally just snapped off. <laughs> All right. Spot number one was a bust, and I snapped my hook off. I'm just really scared of a fish bites. If I lose my food, I'm going to be livid. Spot numero dos. All right, well, good news is I just threw my nid rig right up into the rock. So I'm already hung up. Oh my gosh. I just looked out on my reel and this happened. Nice. That's it. That's it. I've had enough, dude. I'm fed up. I'm freaking hungry. I'm calorie deprived. My nid rig's stuck on a rock and you cast this thing three times and it just decides to... Yep. If 
found some structure, guys. Basically, we went fishing for probably four or five hours. Caught nothing. I didn't even see a fish move the whole entire time we were out there. It's all corp. That was it. That was a highlight. So we're back on the island now. Island boys. Still hungry, but like five hours later into hunger. So I think we're gonna start eating clams because we're not allowed to leave the island until we eat something that we found out here. The fisherman in me is like heartbroken though yeah. that we couldn't catch anything. But also I gotta remember like we're camping and surviving. So the more videos we do on this, I think the better we're gonna get at like learning the techniques and yeah. stuff. So this is definitely a, a first like cool run. I feel like in the summertime we would have more luck like early morning top water just walking around the island the water pool would be up we could potentially catch catfish during the night and the day winter time is just tough man oh dude i'm so worried for this i just know i'm just gonna ruin my myself like i'm gonna eat one of these things i'm just gonna be taking dumps for like a week straight and just get food poisoning i gotta do it though we can't leave until i do it I just gotta find like a good healthy cluster and what are these clams Mussels. Mussels. Yeah. You ever ate mussels before? No, no. The one thing I know about eating a mussel is you want it to be like sealed properly. So when you crack it open, it almost looks like it's still alive before you cook it. Please. <sighs> Bro, the mussel I had was just straight up dirt. You know, it's tough. It's a tough lake when you can't even find mussels to eat. Oh, I think I got one. Oh no. It's open. Got dirt in it. Bro, you're telling me you haven't found a single mussel yet? Mussels. So guys, what I'm noticing is there's like little bird tracks around here. I think they have opened up every single mussel and we're just like <laughs> in a zone where every mussel has been eaten. We've looked at hundreds of mussels and not a single one has had anything but dirt inside. Dude, I can't believe this. What are we gonna do? Real talk, we just walked half of this island, have not found a single mussel. I thought we were gonna be able to fall back on that. There's a ton of shells, but there's no, like, there's nothing inside of them besides dirt. Like, they've been picked over by birds and everything, and we couldn't catch a fish, couldn't do mussels, so I'm literally just gonna go eat a bug in the woods. I'm trying to think, like, if I was actually, like, stuck out here, I'm what would we even the, do? The, the survival shows that I've seen, like, what bugs are edible? What bugs have like little poison pockets? I don't know. I think I'm gonna eat a roly poly if we can find one. I think that's a safe bet. I, I've never heard of anybody dying from roly poly. I've never heard of anybody eating roly poly, but. Next survival video we do, guys, we gotta go to like some crazy like saltwater island yeah. where we could go like try to find crabs and like all these different yeah. types of things to Shellfish. eat. We literally are on, are on the most just like barren island possible with no food supply whatsoever. Like yeah, just yeah. an inch of water with already eaten right. mussels. I think I've seen one roly-poly on the island and we found one worm. I should have kept it and ate it. All right, let's, um, let's go back up to the check on the fire and I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna look for a bug. It's gotten down to that. The survival challenge has been way tougher than I thought it was going to be. And um, I'm not thinking straight because of last night's sleep. So I'm so ready to eat something so we can leave and go eat something like for real. Yeah, it's something my, really nice. My brain is not even working right now. When you watch the survival shows and you're like, yeah, I could do that. Now that we're out here, I'm realizing we can't really do that. Boys, I think I may have solved our problems. I see what you see. I'm looking at the ground. Oh, look up. That's what I'm saying. There's fruit. There's fruit on the island, and we couldn't even see that last night because it was so dark out. Now, most of this is like really old, so we're gonna have to split them open, make sure there's no bugs inside. I don't know if these are muscadines or crab apples because they're so like old and saggy. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Look at this one right above your head. Dude, I don't know if that's a strat. Dude, I think if we were surviving here a couple of months ago. Oh, dude. I don't know if that's safe. What, what is this? Could be muscadines. Is this a plum? I have no idea how to identify tree fruit. I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of fruits that you're not supposed to eat. I don't think these would cause a lot of trouble, but they're so old that there's definitely bug larva inside of them. Oh, there's ants crawling in this one. Whatever this is, comment down below. It's orange, seeds, pink. I feel like I gotta eat it, dude. I kind of feel like you have to as well. This Are you gonna eat my... it with me? No, you, ha I've... you have to, actually. I, <laughs> There's not an option. <laughs> not an option. <laughs> no, dude. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know if you should eat these. I'm eating one, dude. Get one that looks like fresh. Like that one looks pretty fresh. That was the one I was eyeballing down. That one looks like a pumpkin. Maybe these are pumpkin. Is this a pumpkin tree? As we've been on this island for so long, it's time to get off of it. And the only way we can do that is if we eat this. And we don't know if it's poisonous. It's definitely not ripe. This is definitely like, 
I don't know, dude. If this was in Publix, it would have been expired like four months ago. Oh, dude, it smells terrible. It don't smell natural. Is that fake fruit? Do it, man. Do it for the it's people. It's so at home. dude. It's so disgusting. Like, I don't even know if that's mold in there, bro. It's like molding on the inside. Oh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Dude, mine was really good. I ate mine in one bite. No way. I ate it. Your turn. I already ate mine. I ate mine whole. My mouth is really dry on the inside now. I don't think that's good, man. I, do, I know it's not good. I, I just did it, though. <laughs> or else we're leaving you on the island. <laughs> Mm. Everything's very dry. Mm. That's not smart, dude. That's not smart. There's an ant that just crawled out of it. Yeah, there's ants all up in it, but that's just extra protein. Here's the thing, man. I'm already behind on my upload schedule. I was just in a truck wreck, you know? It's like been a traumatic week for me already. Like, I have a lot of personal things going on. We all got personal things going on, dude, but you know what? Nobody's gonna subscribe to you if you don't eat it. <laughs> We're making him eat one. It's, it's just not fair if I have to... He just takes the boat and leaves. Bro, why are you still running? <laughs> so, island surviving 24 hours with AO in one tent with the three of us at Walmart with a $100 budget. Was it a success? Depends on your definition of su success. I definitely want to do this again. We've learned from our mistakes. I've learned that surviving is harder than I thought it was going to be. Right. So, I have plenty of ideas. Let me know if you guys have any, like, cool challenges you want us to do, but, like, camping and surviving, like, revolving around, like, any cool locations, any cool ideas. But I definitely want to do, like, $100 versus, like, $1,000. I want to do, like, a saltwater edition of this, like, on an isolated island in the middle of the ocean that would be so much fun that dude. would be crazy and we could even up it from 24 hours and do like a week-long thing or something like that so just drop some ideas down below guys thank you for sticking through us with this video i feel defeated not catching fish because we're so used to doing that but i have to remember that we were camping yeah. and trying to catch fish and it didn't work so this was a, a successful failure but that just means the next one hopefully we'll learn from our mistakes and yeah. um we'll I've, go get your stomach pumped get that infested my um, mouth is so dry right now so do whatever that plant was never eat it guys but yeah we're gonna pack up and we'll see you guys and whatever we do next until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here behind the scenes oh! i feel like we have to oh just break your just camera looking, too i was literally looking for the tape for some tape for yeah the drone yeah to see if i can like Fix it. I don't know if they can tell. It's like literally hard. It's that's it's hard. green pizza now, dude. You can even see the stars on this. That is crazy. I've always star. wanted a camera. I'm like star. a big star guy. Yeah. Just gaze at the at the stars at night. Is this the yeah. thumbnail right now? <laughs> I mean, if it's not, you're messing up. <laughs> kind of nervous. Me and Ayo slept in the same bed like two months ago. Um, this is the first time we're sleeping in a tent together. So it's a big day for me. So if you guys could. Leave a like for uh for my big day. His wife's out of town, so he came camping with the boys. Well, I'll hold your hand. Oh, what's up, man? What'd you say? Uh, we're just talking about tying this up, bro. So far, we've we've got rock picking up content and leave content. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had to say. You can take the camera away from me now. I feel like I'd be more comfortable if I took my laptop and put it in my pelvis.